Hiya, hiya. It's another Reynolds wrap. I don't mean to say it's another one. It's a different one. And uh, I got an Apple equipment that I'm using, you know, to record. And I got my orange shirt on. Can you see that? Yeah. I got apples and oranges. They don't go together. <laughs> uh, neither does Galaxy. You know, you know what happened with that? Remember when Apple got uh, robbed by Galaxy? And Samsung had taken all of their plans and uh, use them on their new phones. And so it all got settled in court. They have to pay Apple. So now Galaxy becomes a customer of Apple. Did you know that? Yeah, because they're paying them for that. Now, South Korea, which is the reason why North Korea is always pissed off, has Samsung. But what North Korea and South Korea are now talking to each other on the phone, <laughs> on the Samsung, most likely. Is the bird, is the bird tweeting me? Yeah. Uh, I gotta, I gotta go, go back to this again. Oh man, this is. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm just biding my time. <laughs> I wear the Biden mask uh, when he's in office, and I wear the Trump mask when he's in office. It's like the bumper stickers on cars. You always look like you are with the winner. You know, you change the bumper sticker according to who won the election. But this is it. Biden is uh, going to be telling us to wear masks again. But you knew that was going to happen. I mean, you know, it had to happen because everybody's getting too crazy. We all were starting to hang like uh, like we were going to the Studio 54. You know, I mean, those days are over where you can have uh, uh, pandemics and viruses. And we're not supposed to touch each other. That's why I have this essential body condom that I wear when I'm on my flights. And I, I look a little strange when I get on the airplane. But I sit over in the corner, mind my own business, and uh, don't order any food. Uh, that's, that's for sure. I had a friend who thought that you would get food if the chef was gay and then catch AIDS. That was my friend Lou who thought that uh, a gay chef meant that you were catching the disease. I said, Lou, it's not about eating the food that the chef prepared that's going to give you AIDS. It's eating the chef that might give you something. You know. <laughs> That's, come on. <laughs> but this is the ignorance we have in America, and so much so that all the television networks are desperate. Uh, Good Morning America has got a third hour that they're putting on at noon. They're calling it the third hour of Good Morning America. How's Good Morning America, Good, good Morning at noon, unless they're re trying to reach the West Coast? And, and, I, and, and the other one, you know, that CBS black eye, uh, you see that big eye they got. Uh, what they're trying to do all the time now is to uh, go to the common folk. You know, they, they got uh, Oprah's old scripts and they're going over them again, over and over. And they're presenting people who are issue oriented. We, we, we used to have problems, now we have issues. I have an issue, you got an issue? <laughs> What's your issue? <laughs> Mine is Reader's Digest because they're the ones that nobody reads, but they got Publisher Clearinghouse where they're giving you a million dollars a month for the rest of your life. Where are they getting this money from? Nobody's buying magazines, are they? Or is, it, is there something that we should know about? But see, we're in a secret society. People don't tell you everything because they want to sell stuff. And if you believe certain somethings, they don't want to dispel that. And if you don't know about something, they're going to give you a new belief. That's the way things are sold. You know, I mean, uh, one of the reasons why there's so many pharmaceutical ads on television in, during the newscasts on the, on the networks is because nobody really needs half of that stuff they're selling, but the stockholders want to see that they're doing well. Uh, so Pfizer, you know, Pfizer's got, besides the pandemic and the vaccines they're giving us, they, haven't, uh, they do have a business, you know. They are selling drugs <laughs> and they are selling pharmaceuticals. These people are definitely in business. Who's the one that made the one that I liked? That was uh, the Ludes, the one that made Ludes. Oh, I like those, those were good. and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a season for every drug. I'm sober now 40 years, and they gave me a 40-year a chip over an AA. Uh, I think that was a, a wonderful uh, program, and uh, I, got, I got sober with something that you're not supposed to talk about. Uh, I think also I got drunk with something you're not supposed to talk about. <laughs> I think this is a time when everybody is saying everything and throwing it all out to see whatever hits the wall. And uh, that's the way I cook spaghetti, you know. That's how you know when it's al dente and when it's done. You cook the spaghetti and you throw it up into the ceiling. If it sticks to the ceiling, 
then the rest of the pot is ready. There you go. That's, a, that's an Italian trick, you know, except if you have those high ceilings. And if you have the low ones and it's not done, you're also in trouble. But I have here my answer to the ceiling problem. I have the problem answer. This is the bird. The bird will go to the ceiling and test the pasta for me. Isn't that cool? And I also want to tell you about something else. The low-income people, they say, as of today, are being attacked by the IRS. Why would they go after the people who have the least money or no money? They, they probably think we're hiding it somewhere, like in a mattress or in, in a, a wall. Les Paul had uh, a home in Mawa, New Jersey, and they found $115 million in his uh, uh, treasury bonds and everything that he had since World War II. He stuffed them all in a wall. Now, there's where, there's, that's why you want to build a wall. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> that hurt all the other, the Fox people. They just had an earthquake when I said that. <laughs> it's, it's a tremble. It was a, a, a six-pointer. <laughs> uh, what else are I going to say about poor people? Oh, yeah, what can I tell you about poor people? I tell you everything about them. I am one. Uh, I'm homeless, see? because I have nowhere to live but out here on the porch with the bird. I'm, I've been relegated to this since I came back from California. I said the wrong thing to my uh, Republican ex-wife. And I, and I, you got to be careful with this politics because it puts you out on the porch or in the what used to be the doghouse is now the porch. Uh, you get in trouble when you, uh, when you pick a party or pick a side, you know. It's like in the earlier days if you were a communist or a Nazi uh, lover. You were always in trouble in this country, but now you're in trouble if you pick one of those two, a Republican or a Democrat. You know, you get Pelosi puss. That's a new disease. Uh, this is, a, this is <laughs> I just thought of that. Uh, the thing that we have with, uh, with poor people is they want us to go away and, uh, and work for $15 an hour, is it? Oh, yeah. Where's my, where's my new job? There it is. I got it over here somewhere. Everybody knows that this is where I want to end up. You know, I want to end up at In-N-Out Burger with my Biden mask. Now I should be a big hit. <laughs> Not one TV network will touch me. I'm, I'm even going to be pushed out of podcasting. <laughs> so smoke my pod <laughs> it's a Reynolds wrap